Hello there guys and welcome back to another epic and actual maths video. In this video we're taking a look at why the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. Okay, so this is a formula that many people will be familiar with, you know, it's something that you might learn uh, quite early on in you know, your mathematical uh, education. Uh, but, you know, some people might know where it comes from, some people might not. Uh, why is uh, the area of a triangle one half the base times the height of the triangle? Okay, well, let's just draw it. Let's draw something right here. It's just a rough sketch. It doesn't have to be a work of art or anything like that. Uh, there is roughly a triangle, okay? Uh, we're going we're gonna to take a right angle triangle for now, but just it's worth noting that this formula, one half base times height is the area. It works for any triangle. It doesn't have to be a right angle triangle, but let's show that it works with a right angle triangle because that's the easiest way to go forward. And then we'll show it with a non right angle triangle. Okay, so let's consider this triangle. This triangle has got a base of B and a height of H. The area of this triangle would therefore be one half base times height. That's the area of the triangle, one half BH. But let's say we don't know that. How do we find it? Well, what we can do is we can split this triangle into uh, a shape, well not split rather, but sort of turn it into a shape that we do know how to find the area of, okay? We do know how to find the area of, for example, a rectangle, okay? So let's imagine that this is a rectangle now, and it's a rectangle along the sort of lines that I've drawn here, like it's a rectangle like this, okay? This is our rectangle, uh, the whole thing, okay? Well, for the rectangle, so for the rectangle, the area, what would the area be for this rectangle? Well, the base is still B, so one of the side lengths is still B, and the other side length of this rectangle is H. So the area of this rectangle is base times height, okay? Uh, or length times width, if you're using L and W, for example. That's the area of the rectangle, but, Notice something about this rectangle. This rectangle, you can clearly see, is exactly twice the area of the triangle. You can see that, it's clearly, it's clearly been cut in half. You know, imagine that was a couple of slices of bread and you're making a sandwich. You cut diagonally across, that's the best way to cut a sandwich, of course, everyone knows it. Those sandwiches just taste nicer when you cut a sandwich diagonally like that, it just tastes nicer. So let's say that you cut it like that. Do you agree that both sandwiches are the same size? Well, of course you do, yes. You cut it across its diagonals just like that. Both are the same size, which means that the whole thing, the whole rectangle, must be double the size of one of those triangles. Which means, if we want the area of just the triangle, just the triangle, we need to half our base times height. And so what we get is the area of the triangle is equal to one half the base times the height. And that's basically the idea behind it. It's the idea that the corresponding rectangle is always double that of the triangle. So you simply find the area of the rectangle, which is always base times height, because that's very easy to work out, and you simply half it. Okay, but does it work with triangles that are not right angles? Okay, let's consider a triangle that is not right angled. So for example, let's say that we have this triangle here. Again, it's just a, it's just a rough sketch, right? It's just a rough sketch. Here's a triangle. It looks like it could potentially be something like an equilateral, but it looks maybe a little bit taller. So maybe it's an isosceles of some sort, but it doesn't matter. It can be any triangle. We can agree that there's no right angles in here, right? There's no right angles. Well, the base of this triangle is still B, okay? The height though is a little bit harder to find. The height is not this, no. The height is not that, that's not the height of the triangle. The height of the triangle is the vertical distance, straight up, straight up. So this gives us the height of the triangle. This is the height right here. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, base times height, brilliant. Okay, but this is nice as well because what this does here is this splits our triangle into two right angle triangles because now we can say, well, there's a right angle triangle on the right hand side. You can see that, the one on the right. And on the left hand side, there's also a right angle triangle and there's the right angle right there. So now we actually just have two right angled triangles. And if we find the area of each one individually, we can just add them up. We can just add the areas up and we get the area of the whole thing. Here's the beauty of it though. We can also 
turn these into rectangles. It's a slightly different method, of course, because you need to add sort of two rectangles. You need to add a rectangle to each one. But boom, you just do this. And so the height is still h, so the height of each rectangle here is still h. And the base, it depends upon where you split it. Uh, but what we can say is if the whole thing is the base, and we can invent some new variable, we'll say just this length here, just this length here, uh, we'll just say it's x. It doesn't matter what it is. We can say that it's x. The area of the triangle on the right is one half, just using what we've already shown, x times height because x is kind of like the base for that one on the on the right and then we also get uh, the one on the left if the area of uh, or if the length uh, here is x and the whole thing here is the base then this length here must simply be the base minus x okay and so we just use the same formula so we go okay one half the base minus x times the height which is h and all we do is we add these two together we add up those two should give us the area of the whole thing now if the area of this whole triangle is still one half base times height when we add these two terms together it should just equal one half base times height x should disappear we made x up you might be thinking well hold on what where did x even come from it shouldn't be in the answer so we can invent x as long as it disappears by the end and so that's what we're doing. So one half x times h plus one half base minus x times h. This is simply the area of both of these triangles added together with some arbitrary x. It doesn't matter what x is. X will not be in our final answer. So then we go one half x h. We expand these brackets out. We end up with one half base times height minus one half x times height just by expanding out all of this stuff here and then we can simply simplify this stuff right here and you'll notice that we get one half x times h minus one half x times h they cancel out and we end up with one half base times height which basically means that we have proven that the formula one half base times height is the area of any triangle any triangle it's always true always it doesn't matter whether or not the triangle is right angle isosceles, scalene, it doesn't matter what it is. It's always true. The area of any triangle is always one half the base times the height. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.